Hey baseball fans, Jason, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about the seven best Major League Baseball free agent signings in the last 10 years or the last decade. Okay, The seven best in terms of value, production, and uh, some of which are still in effect, still existing contracts. Um, but the seven best bangs for the buck in Major League Baseball. And there's been a lot of big contracts. Um, and uh, if you're a baseball fan, by the way, this channel's for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And hit that notification if you want to see more videos as well. And uh, look in the description down below for a couple of other good ones. Okay? So, I'm going to work my way up from the bottom to the top. All right? Number seven. Okay? And uh, I'd like to know what you guys think as well. But number seven. Daniel Murphy signing with the Washington Nationals after after being with the Mets. Three years, $37.5 million. I mean, he was in the running for a bounty title or MVP almost all those years. Um, that was one of the best three-year short-term contracts in Major League Baseball history. He was remarkably productive, and he was instrumental to helping um, the Nationals remain competitive. And he also helped Bryce Harper, you know, and quite a few other players as well. Great value. Number six, have a tie, actually. Okay? Um two guys here. All right. And, oh yeah, Matt Holliday, St. Louis Cardinals, seven years, $120 million. Tremendous value. And he was a really, really, really good performer. Um, even though he had some problems in the off in the, in the, in the postseason, um, he was still a, a tremendous player. And the other one would be John Lester, who's still existing contract with the Chicago Cubs for six years, $155 million contracts. When you get to this level, it's really hard um, to justify those types of contracts. But um, that's one of the one of the better ones that I've seen out there, six years. And he's been a bulldog. In the, he was a bulldog in the postseason with the Red Sox, a bulldog in the postseason uh, with the Nat, with the Cubs. He was, I think he was an NLCS or World Series MVP in, the, in 2016 when they won. And um, tremendous value. Tremendous, tremendous value. Okay. Number five, I also have a tie. This is the last tie. Masahiro Tanaka with the New York Yankees. Okay. He still has one more year on his deal, seven year, $155 million. He's been a steady uh, presence on that rotation. And he had a little bit of downtime with injuries, but he's dodged a big bullet. He's dodged Tommy John. He's been a remarkably consistent performer, and he's been one of the stabilizers of the Yankees' rotation. So great value. And Jason Worth, another Washington Nationals player. Seven year, $126 million. He came from the Philadelphia Phillies. Came right in. He kind of put Washington on the map. He, he was there before Bryce Harper, and he put them on the map. And then these other guys started coming, Harper and uh, Daniel Murphy, and um, he really legitimized the Nationals um, and took them to the next level. So um, another great contract, really, really great contract. Even at a big number, still a great contract. Number four, and this is a short-term contract, um, but oh, my God. Well, actually, it was, it was a longer contract, but it had an opt-out. Um, and it was a $146 million contract overall. I think it was for five or six years with the Dodgers, Zach Greinke. He opted out after three years, but those three years, he was uh, either won two straight Cy Young Awards um, or his top three and top two in the Cy Young for all three years. He was an absolute stud. And then he went over to the uh, sign with the Arizona Diamondbacks for a huge contract, $200 plus million contract. Struggled at first, regained his form. And now he's with Houston, kind of replacing Garrett Cole. So, um, but another tremendous value. He's been, uh, he was incredible in the National League. Really was. Okay. Number three, and uh, a couple of older guys now, um, but ridiculous value. Ridiculous value. I would sign up for this any day of the week. Adrian Beltre, six years, $96 million for $16 million a year average. The Texas Rangers, I mean, that's the guy who hit 25, 30, 35 home runs every year. He's in the Hall of, He's going to be going to the Hall of Fame. 500 home run guy. Um, and he was a remarkable, uh, that's one of the best values in modern Major League Baseball history. Okay, And another one on top of him, 
um, who is still, he's still mashing to this day. Um, but back in the day, signed a four-year, um, 51, was it 51? No, 57. 57 million dollar deal with the with the uh, Seattle Mariners, Nelson Cruz. He performed there, performed in Texas, perform. He's performing in in Minnesota. Um, those four years, he had 164 home runs. He averaged 41 per year in those four years, and he was old, dude. He's in mid 30s. Okay, another remarkable performance, a remarkable contract, one of the best values in Major League Baseball history. Um, but number one, if if you don't know, I mean, it's it's obvious to me, but. Um, this, to me, is one of the best free agent contracts in history. Um, and it's still, I think, two years left. Max Scherzer with the Washington Nationals. He's got three Nationals on this, on this list. But seven years, $210 million. If you don't know, this has a, uh, doesn't have a stretch provision, but they stretched it out over the course of 14 years. So he's making $15 million a year for 14 years, but his contract's going to end at, in the seven years. So they stretched it out so it was less of a hit on the salary cap so they can bring in guys like Strasburg and other guys. I mean, and play Strasburg, you know, what they want, what, what he wanted and stuff. Um, and make other big investments, too. That, to me, is the, probably the greatest contract in Major League Baseball history. He's gotten a couple, quite a few Cy Youngs there, at least two. And he's in the top two in Cy Young Award pretty much every year, or top three in Cy Young every year. Absolute bulldog. He was a bulldog in the postseason last year, even though he battled injuries. Um, and he's close to his 3,000 strikeout. And uh, 200th win, he's not far off as well. So he's definitely going to be a Hall of Fame guy. But um, here are my top seven best contracts, Major League Baseball uh, free agent signings over the last decade. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any other ones in there, um, put, them in the, put them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And look out for my next video. It's going to be the seven worst signings.